hi and welcome to the reading for the new moon in Sagittarius. The new moon in Sagittarius is happening at 121 a.m. Um, Eastern time zone here on Sunday the 1st. And so um, it has already occurred as I am recording this and um, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I know what I'm doing, but I don't know what I'm doing. Spirit asks for something very specific, and so I am doing that right now. I can't wait to see what comes out. So this reading will be for sun signs only. Um, sun signs only. Just check out your sun sign. Uh, this is actually from my Facebook group, but I'm going to post it here on YouTube. If you would like more details about this new moon, I invite you to come over to Facebook and uh, uh, where I'll do a reading just on that. So we're looking at Aries right now. So Aries at one minute exactly, or Aries. So Aries, wow, look at this. We've got intuition and it comes out with the card of the sun. So there is something really important that is happening here with all of the solar flares that we've been having this year. Um, and the fact that we can see the Northern Lights as far as south as the 30th parallel, they they are telling me that they are they are um, they're doing something. They're working along that 30th parallel. Um, it's a very sacred parallel to begin with, but they're doing some. Um, it, it they just said renovation. So all right, Aries, Aries, what you have here is you have um, Mercury in Cancer. You've got. Uh, Saturn in Aquarius and the moon in Capricorn. So there's a lot of Saturnian energy. This, this, this new moon is engaged with Saturn. And when it becomes a full moon, it becomes a full moon in uh, um, May, May 31st of 2026. And at that time, it will be conjunct almost exactly within three minutes. As you can't get much tighter than that, of Elder Elderbron, um, which is the bullseye. It is the luck. And this particular uh, degree point that we're having this new moon in is about the golden-haired goddess of opportunity. And here you have your intuition, your eccentricity, and your practicality. And so they are encouraging you to, to shine a light to open up and find some knowledge. See the book? The book is closed, but the sun is shining. And, and you can see the light coming in. And so I feel like over the course of the next 18 months, you are going to be learning a lot and about how to work within the community. And so there is a practical nature to this, right? It says the bullseye, and here this guy is. He's driving the bulls, right? He's he's sowing, he's plowing the fields. I'm sorry, not plow, sowing. He's plowing the fields. This is the seed of intention that you plant with us. But this is something you need. It's something different. It's something in this edge, this growing edge, this leading edge of the age of Aquarius that's coming in. And so there's a need to really communicate with your higher self, your intuition, uh, the um, Mercury, Mercury in um, Mercury in Cancer. Very much this intuitive knowingness that comes through uh, for you. And so, oh, um, what we're going to look at right now is the gift of this opportunity, what can be produced from that, um, how to manage this, and, and what is the best advice for it. And so these cards are not exactly lined up like for those things. I'm going to look at them. They're saying collectively together, I'll get the message. So much like I did with that first part there. So we'll see what we get. Um, wow, the medicine and the illusion, the medicine and the illusion, the medicine and the illusion. Okay, so um, for one thing, for one thing, what we have going on here is we've got this 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 Saturn that is very activated by this moon, and we have Neptune that is a player in this, and this is also this Pisces energy that is squaring this energy, and so um, th th there's this. Mm, there's this need, the medicine, the practicality, right? We have the illusion. There's many stairways, many places you can go with this, many ways you can take this thing up. And this medicine here, the practicality, the medicine is to chop wood, carry water. So there is this goal, this dream, it needs a practical plan, right? It needs a plan. And, and there's something about shining the light into it to know what that is and being very practical, right? And so knowing intuitively what it is that you're trying to do, what you're trying to accomplish, 
right? Not being afraid of it. So the North Node's been in your sign and it is moving in on January 13th into Pisces. So during those next 18 months while it is in Pisces, that is your time of integration. That is your time to, 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 um, to figure out, hmm, to figure out what it is that, um, matters to you to, to integrate the, the wisdom and the knowledge that has come through. So the ideas that have flowed in, the things that you've seen, to, to be able to use those. So we have the conflict and the fear, free spirit, right? So this is kind of like that Gemini energy because when we get the full moon, it'll be in Gemini season. This conflict, um, Mars rules your sign. Mars is so activated by this. Holy cow. Mars is doing some interesting things at this time right now. And I, I just think this feels very much like mm, the conflict feels like an inner battle that you're having um, in order to break free. So you might feel like you want to bang and bang and bang and try to get out of something, but this, they're, they're reminding you that this is an 18 month cycle and there is, there is freedom on the other end of this. And, but there's an evolution. There's a intuitively moving through being very practical, working with others, chop wood, carry water. The conflict card says, wait, do nothing neutralize the disharmony. So this isn't about fighting your way out of this. This is about, finding your way out of it, finding your way to freedom. There's multiple uh, avenues to leave a situation behind in order to get to where you want to go, but there's a practicality that needs to come in with us, right? So the free spirit, very much Sagittarius energy is saying to reach for it, to go for it. But at the same time, there is, um, it feels like on the other side of this, there's the freedom. I don't think, I think the freedom comes when it becomes a full moon. And in the process, maybe um, uh, Saturn, Saturn rewards patience. Saturn rewards being practical. Saturn in Pisces is squaring the new moon and the full moon. Only it'll be by that time in Aries, it'll be in your sign. And then it trines your sign. And then it helps you and it assists you in knowing what is the way to build the structure to move forward. And so there is this, there is this energy to be moved with through that. So solar plexus, wow. You got the solar plexus. This is creative and that is the sun energy. This is such a creative energy to be working with. Um, so, so the number on it is 39. And 39 um, breaks down to a, a three energy, an empress energy. And remember, this is the golden hair haired goddess of opportunity. So this is about empowerment, living in your joy and standing your ground. It says radiate radiant one step within your personal pyramid where you empower yourself, where your empowered self awaits. It's that one step. It's something about really getting in touch with the core of your being. Now figure it out where it is that you belong in the community, but I also notice that this this hen is sitting on a nest. She has to wait. She has to wait. There is a waiting period, and yet in that waiting, there's action, right? Like if she got up and she walked away, the eggs would die. So there is a nurturing that has to happen. There is a step-by-step. -step. That's the chop wood, carry water. That is the stepping area in order to make this work, to make this manifest. All right, Aries, that's it. That's what I got for you. Um, I don't know when you'll see me again here on YouTube, but um, stay tuned. There are stuff coming. All right, you take care. Talk to you soon.